All right, y'all. So I've been actually checking out some of the wallets of the people currently buying Chuck. And it's a lot of people coming from Brett, man. And it seems like people are dumping Brett and coming over to Chuck seriously. Like we always talked about how Chuck was going to lead the game and, and overtake Brett. But it's honestly starting to look a lot more likely right now. Um, basically, what's going on is Chuck has been trending. It's, it's been number one on base. All types of stuff is going on for Chuck. We, we're hitting new all-time highs almost every single day, multiple times a day sometimes. So it's a lot of crazy stuff happening right now. And then on the Brett side of things, you have some of the biggest influencers in the space starting to be exposed right now. So this is why people are actually leaving Brett and coming over to Chuck. So this is going to be interesting. We're going to dive into it. It looks like they actually found Crash's wallet, who's really, really known for his... his his Brett affiliation and how much money he's made on Brett. That's what he's popular for. So seems like, I guess people have been catching him lying a lot more and things like that. So we finna check it out. Um, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, turn on notifications, and let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. Um, and let me know if you're holding Chuck right now, if you're still sitting on the sidelines. I know that a lot of people are not trying to get wrecked, but I I'll say this. I'm not a financial advisor. Take this with a grain of salt. This is just my approach. When it comes down to holding something like Chuck, it is it is always going to be a risk. Any meme coin is going to be a risk, but you're not supposed to be putting your rent money in it. Like if you would waste a hundred dollars eating out, that that's what you should put in it. Because one of my friends, I had him put two hundred dollars in it. He's now up over a thousand dollars. So and, and this is what I mean. That's money that he would have junked and blew away. It blew away anyway. He would have threw that away. So it doesn't matter what happens. If it would have went to zero, <clears throat> he was going to do something dumb with it and put it to zero anyway. So it doesn't actually matter. Like people be so scared to jump into stuff as if you can take a L. If you put money in, in, into it that you're planning on wasting regardless, you can't lose. The only thing that you have is more to gain. <laughs> that, that's it. So you have to change how you view investing. You have to, you have to really look at it differently, but enough preaching. Um, be sure to check out the Patreon. A lot of dope opportunities there. If you would have invested when I um, introduced it to the Patreon, listen, let's just say you'll be up crazy right now. So, And I also have jumped into a new project, a new project with even lower market caps than, than Chuck currently has. So I, listen, I'm not going to reveal everything, but it's a lot. It's a lot of stuff going on right now, a lot of money to be made. And you can keep missing opportunities all day long, but Listen, that's that's on you. It's your choice. I, I'll keep showing you all the results, the aftermath of the stuff that that we got going on. So anyway, let's check let's check this out. This is why um people are starting to leave, you know, the Brett community and coming over to Chuck with us. I don't even want to start this video because I know that after this video we're gonna have some massive drama. I tracked all the wallets of cash trading, and what he says in his videos are not really the truth to me. I find Holy's wallet more than 15 wallets, spend hours researching them, trying to find what kind of transaction was happening. And I will explain you everything in this video, how I did it and what we can see and how he made actually his money. By the way, welcome on Handsome Finance, where we study what's happening on chain because the blockchain is... True, like, what is the blockchain? The, oh yeah, the blockchain is an open ledger, so we can see all the transactions. Who made money, who lost money, follow the smart money and make even more money. Don't forget to put on your little matcha and let's get in full detective mode. Everyone knows this wallet from Crash Trading, where it shows that he never sold his bread. But remember always when you watch some videos, why those people are making those videos for you? What is their incentive? What are they selling? What is the end goal for them? Because if you have it clear, you know what they are selling and what they do. So I decided to first search of course that address but i'm not going to satisfy myself with only one wallet so what i always do is check if they have some nft and where it connects so pretty easy when you have the image you right click you can do search with google yeah i've been in crypto for more than seven years but i still don't know most of those nfts and i find that this is the collection the remilio babies once i have that well i just go in the criterias and here for the rice is gonna be the only dog and then I know that this one have an accessory that that the earrings there we go we're gonna put the AirPods Pro and that's it we have our NFT which is owned by Crash he's actually having his kind of real name on OpenSea 
So now this is one of his other addresses. Then I will use a tool like Xerion to see a little bit what kind of activities we have. This wallet is still a little bit active if we have some blast. And let's check the history of transaction. Level 9, we just received some airdrop. This is also probably some airdrop. I decided to drop this address unless I find something more interesting. But that's the first address. Then we have the address from the video, the 213D. So it's pretty easy to find an address once you have that. I have the tool internally with the investors boardroom where we use our software stock chain to find those addresses with some special query. Now, this is where it starts to get interesting because once I have that, I can unlock so much more information. Most of the people think, oh no, it didn't sell. Let me give you a preview. With this wallet, it made 266K stored right here. Before I continue into showcasing all his wallets, I just want to highlight that I have nothing against cash trading just no drama. I'm just doing this for the exercise of the blockchain. And I thought this would be a fast video, but the number of wallets and the number of wash trading and everything that I saw, it took me a lot more time. And trust me, it's, it's nothing beneficial, but at least you will know the truth and you will know what's happening. But then we can't blame him for anything. The name is crash trading. If the token crash after, it's normal. It says in the name, you can't be <laughs> After reporting someone, I say, I followed someone named Crash Trading and I think he scammed me. People are going to be like, what, what are you even saying? <clears throat> and if you say, plus, I saw it on Handsome Finance, which is also a stand-up comedian, you're just going to end up being the joke. So now that we have his address with all the bread on it, the 2.5 million, right? The stock that did not move. Then what I check is the history. And in the history, I'm going to check all the same transaction. Now I can see that he sent 4.6 Ethereum to that address. And that address end up being a Binance deposit. This is where I need to explain you how it works on the blockchain. When you send to an exchange, it's a unique address. Every account have their unique address. So whatever token you send from the same blockchain will go to that unique address and then they send it to their hot wallet. So that's how we know an address is connected to an exchange because it's sent directly to the hot wallet of Binance. And we know the behavior. It's exactly like that. The amount of money will be received and sent at the same time. Once I have this address, I can find all the wallets. And I hope you understand that when I'm giving you this, I'm also giving the alpha to everyone who wants to make you lose. So I'm kind of losing some of my power here, but at least maybe you will get better at this on-chain analysis thing because that's the best way you can trade today. And when I checked after all the wallets that were connected to that Binance deposit, that's where it started to be fun because <laughs> That's where I found that amount of wallets. Yes, that's a lot. And it gets better and better. And because on my last video, a lot of people complained that I was not going straight to the point. I'm not going to show you how I find everything, but directly the results. So with this address, we know that he made 266K selling bread at those times. Now you have to understand, it doesn't have $5 million in bread. Why? The liquidity is thin and I want to highlight so you can understand they can only sell when it's going up like this because that's what's crashing the market. But where you understand is that here the pool is only $1.5 million. So if one wanted to cash out, it will not make more than $1.5 million because if you put all your bread, you can only get as much Ethereum as you can. And here, if I see 1.5 million, man. So maybe they can cash out using different exchanges and things like that. But don't worry, they are a well-prepared team and it's all about everything. We have also this address where he made 300K as well, which this one, we put a lot of buy orders just for the sake of it, because actually what is happening is we buy for 56K and we sell for 353k so that's more like just creating volume so it looks good again i know this because 
from his Binance deposit address, I got all his addresses of his wallet. So I know, for example, with this wallet, he sent his bread to another wallet. And then we have this address that I don't know that's sent to him. But of course, if you only check the public wallet, you will be like, oh, but he never sold. He only bought and never sold. And the truth is, as you can see, what you will receive is 1.36 million. So there's a big difference between the money you have and the money you can get. If he was selling it all now, the price will drop by 70%. He already dropped a bit like that. Now for anyone who is mad already that he sold and then made some money, you literally have a problem because of course he's in it to make money. And who should we blame? The guy who is pushing a coin and selling it or the people who click on the video and think they're going to make a 100x without taking any risk and that they should instead then make money and the guy who make the video lose money. Yeah, like when you're into this space, what you have to understand is you have to sell on the way up. So especially if you want to hit a certain amount. Now, so, so for some people, certain amounts isn't even worth taking. Like <clears throat> you'll see a thousand dollar return, not worth taking for some people. Ten thousand, not worth taking for some people. So it'll keep going. Um, but like some some people, you'll see a hundred dollar return. and You want to take that. Like you can at least get your initial investment out of there if it's going up. If it's going up to a, at, at a uh, substantial pace, then it's no risk to you. If you get your initial out, then however much it goes up after that, you're good. Like you already got your money back out, so you can't you can't lose. So um, <clears throat> yeah, you have to get into better get into better habits of taking your money slowly over time, as opposed to just thinking that you're just gonna dump everything at one big point and and stuff like that like that's not usually how it works and it's, it is very risky if you do it that way it's this is a risky space as it is so you want to be able to mitigate your risk by having some good practices when it comes down to taking profits so um yeah like you got to take your profits over time that that's how you do it safely but everyone is in this for money i'm in it for money everyone is um, we just all plan to take at different levels and or start taking at different levels. Um, so yeah, you have to you have to have a strategy going into it. You can't be mad at somebody who I mean, well, did this guy is it appears that he's allegedly lying, manipulating and stuff like that. You can definitely be mad at that. But if it was just taking profits and you was being honest about it, I, I would I don't care. I don't care that someone is taking profits. Like everyone is in this to take some profits. But to be lying and saying you're not taking profits, you're holding. That that's scummy. That's very scummy. But also you have to be like super naive. And I'm sorry if it's shocking and I should have compassion or something. But what do you think? Do you really think that someone that bought into a coin like that is not gonna sell at any time and just gonna hold on and make some other videos on it and gonna say, guys, it's okay, you can buy now again. If you think that, I'm pretty sure you think that when you meet your wife in Pattaya working at the bar you say no trust me she's different she's just different I'm sorry but I can't do anything and of course he did make money but that's normal you know what let's remove all the blur and let's understand everything that happened from his public wallet I find all the other wallets connected to Binance but I also find his deposit address on OKX so I got his three addresses here and then I find the same for get.io. If you want the file with all his addresses and do some research around it, I will give it to you for free. You just have to join my Telegram. Yeah, I know it's tricky, but who am I going to chill the next meme coins to otherwise? This one cash out around $10 million on the exchange and that one around $3 million. Now, I checked all those addresses, what kind of trade they do. And we're going to try to find out some good stuff because it's quite smart. They have some cash out. And to be fair, I mean, you don't need to like th this is entertaining, but you don't need to be diving into gossip like that. You want to join a community, join the Patreon where we actually go over opportunities that's making people money. People are making money in the Patreon where everyone is making money in the Patreon. So far, we haven't lost. We're taking profits. Um, everybody is doing fine in the Patreon, actually. So people are making a lot of money. So don't. Don't miss out um, waiting or being cheap or stuff like that, bro. It's $25, bro. And I can guarantee you once the bull run comes and we 
putting more images of the gains and stuff like that, the price is going up for sure. So yeah, like it's twenty five dollars for now, but at the point where we're actually keep hitting home runs with these, I mean, it's going to be more valuable. It's going to be known and proven to be more valuable. Like however many times that we keep hitting and they keep being right, that's value right there. So as uh, the more provable history we have, the more the prices is going to raise, and yeah, it's just gonna gonna raise and stay there. That's what it is. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, wallet. They have some breaths in this. I have my list here that I call skeptical finance. Will all the wallets? So two weeks ago, he swapped at multiple times one million bread, one million bread, one million bread, one million bread to get some Ethereum. And we had another time here two weeks ago on the 18th of April. We get a bit of cash out. You see all the transactions that are happening. This one, we send 5 million bread to another wallet. We receive 5 million bread from another wallet, the C89. We swap some breaks for 52 Ethereum. <laughs> <laughs> those guys they don't even they don't even try to make small trades they go in cash out straight away guys next time if you want to make it clean use the based bot and like this you can have your this year this year buying or this year selling every two minutes every five minutes and no one will see it will be soft it will be dumping cleanly same as you should be buying cleanly by the way of course thank you base for sponsoring this video which is the only trading and answer that you can use on your laptop and on your mobile cross device. Anyways, dumping after dumping, we see a lot of things going on. So sometimes we buy some bread, sometimes we sell some bread. It depends, but we have to create the volumes. We have to create the people wanting to buy it because we have a wallet that have $5 million, but it doesn't have $5 million. It's $1.6 million if we sell it all and probably even more slippage <coughs> the liquidity is that low what's crazy is chuck i believe chuck is almost at that liquidity right now and it has a much much smaller market cap and chuck is already almost there in terms of liquidity that's crazy and the locked liquidity day yeah, that's insane that's insane if they if that's all that they got and i mean <clears throat> yeah it's ridiculous which means having less money so you see all those transactions everything is the same pattern you can't tell me that it's not the same people when you see the same amount the same timing the same everything you just got to be behind the level of naive to not understand what's going on what i'm upset though is that the first transaction is only in march 2024 it means that i did not find all his wallet and everything that was around but also i had to save my sanity because again this is not a scam per se they bought early and then they promoted and they are selling now if it was a fair launch obviously it was not you can actually thanks george the kudu which is a smart guy because he's following me so i'm gonna give a cheeky follow back that's normal he published all the list of the wallets that were whitelisted. So what happened on Brett is that not everyone could buy and sell at the beginning, only those wallets. When you check the addresses, these addresses, oh my God, oh my God. This is like, if you like on-chain analysis, you're going to see this address. You're going to be like, oh, this is like a nice snack. Mm. Oh, this is, this is even better than an Insta bank. What is an Instabank? Uh, I don't need to explain. It says it in the title. Because look at one of their KOL. Like both foot of bread, right? We have one buy transaction. And we dump that nicely, nicely every time it goes up. Yeah, for, for sure. Because we pay the influencers so we know when they publish the video. I can see already this is a fake transaction. Why? Well, it's simple. 100,000 bread and then we sell 2 million bread. How is that possible? How can you do that? Not possible. 721A0. I love it. I love it. We received first 100 breads two months ago on the 25th of February. Then we received 100 million bread just after it. You know, it's classic. Like you start with a little transaction to be sure it works. And then you do the big transaction. So we know the cabal is starting to highlight 
and it's beautiful because it's well orchestrated, it's well planned, and the plan is getting wrecked. But if they are not subscribed to Handsome Finance, who can we blame instead of themselves? And then after we send 1k a break here on the zero C, then again, 5 million bread, and then we send 5 million bread, 5 million bread to tons of different addresses, just donation, I guess, just cheeky donation. Here, 2.5 million bread. Allez, who wants some bread? Allez, this one gets some bread. Now we get another batch of bread, sending some bread. I mean, you get it. Send it on the 15th of April, 2.4 million bread to this wallet address, B45. And what did B45? Well, they dump it, of course. So this one is dumping, 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 but never bought receiving from another wallet and we dump so from the 21 we dump we dump we dump we dump dump and dump and dump it's it's almost a music at this point while editing the video it's just one thing that annoyed me is that when i see those people publishing technical analysis when they know there's nothing technical analysis about those meme coins and most of the coins on the blockchain in crypto in general, below 1 billion market cap, you can barely do any technical analysis, particularly when it's few holders like this, and they know those holders, those are their friends, they are connected, they know those wallets. <laughs> so when they show this, that's really taking the piss, honestly. That's really making fun <laughs> of you guys. But if you don't understand that today you should not study technical analysis, but on-chain analysis, you have to understand this now unfollow people who show you technical analysis because this is an investment where we can study who is holding it which is with the on-chain analysis you can't do that in the stock market and we wish we could that's why warren buffett have to say when he's buying or selling a stock because it would have a strong influence on the market anyways we got so many addresses i'm not gonna go into everything i just find out that is Binance deposit, the other one was not interesting. But the cash out wallets, they are massive. It's the same with Conan. Conan, we buy here and then we sell there. We put a little bit of buy at the, at the end so people think it's okay, people are buying, but we dump on them. We dump on them. 22K. Though this one is not really a good trade though. I think like Making 22k for risking 34k in meme coins, I'm not interested. And by the way, you have to know, if I'm sharing this with you, it's because it's not really interesting to keep it for myself. The trades are not that interesting. I know that he received some Pepe from another address, then sent the Pepe to his Binance deposit. But there's not so many trades happening, so I'm not going to copy trade. And I guess it's because maybe they only push coins that they're going to chill together or that they get paid for, I don't know, or only few trades, but it's not something that I can copy trade or whatever. So there is no alpha for me. Otherwise, I would have kept the alpha for myself and the investors boardroom until we don't have it. Oh, you spent that nice and twin. That's normal, man. Like, I'm not going to give you my best pickup lines if you're going to game at the same place as I do, because... I mean, that's a fact. <clears throat> that's a fact. Like, I, I leave a lot of stuff out of my videos that I'll put into the Patreon. <clears throat> Patreon gets all the information because obviously they're paying to be a part of my network. So they trying to make money with me. So I'm going to put them on to make money with me. I'm not going to sit here and, oh, let me do what I got to do first. Then let me put them on. It's like, no, I, I made a video the other day where I'm getting into the opportunity. I didn't even have my position set up and stuff. And I straight up said that, like, I'm still figuring out what I'm going to do, but I wanted y'all to have the opportunity to check this out as I'm checking it out and as I'm figuring it out myself. And now I'm, I'm set up where I needed to be set up and everything. And they, they was able to do what they had to do and, and check it out, do their research, due diligence, and decide if they wanted to get in it right like right along with me. Like So, yeah, that, I mean, this is how it, that's how it goes, bro, as opposed to YouTube. I mean, this is free. Anybody can watch this. Anybody can come. Like, you're not really putting an investment into your future jumping on a YouTube video, bro. Like, but at the point where you're trying to be a part of this network, you want to be a millionaire and, and you want to be rich with us is like okay like we can all get this money together we can keep grinding out together and we can keep dominating these markets together like that's what it is like learning about new opportunities diving into new projects like that's what it's all about man your network is your net worth like that's really what it comes down to and people got to learn this eventually
It's all a- and notice what he's saying. Like all these guys from Brett, these are a bunch of rich guys dumping on people and scamming people together. Now you don't have to move in a scamming manner just because you have a team and group of people doing something together. You can be a hundred percent legitimate on the up and up. It's just always better with multiple people on board with what you're doing. Like every everybody don't got to be out here scamming. Like, but I mean, if you want to be a scammer, it's more effective if you got people with you. If you want to be legitimate, it's more effective if you got people with you. At the end of the day, you need a network. That's what it comes down to. You need a network. You need a team. Don't get it twisted. You can make profits out here solo and on your own, but it's so much more money in being a part of something bigger than yourself. About competition on the market. If I have an alpha that have a competitive value, which means that if you go in at the same time as me or before me, then I'm kind of losing. I'm not going to share it like that. But if it's an alpha, there is no competition. You can come in later or things like that. Then of course, I'm going to share it. And if you don't like it, well, welcome to the real world where people are honest. And honesty is not always nice, but at least you're free. This is the visualization <laughs> of our address A0 that sent to many, many, many wallets. Now, this is probably a program. I don't know, but the other wallets are not as interesting in terms of what is happening and what they did. Now, I think we have to congratulate them on the marketing and everything, because the best way for people to think that you're not selling is to use the same strategy that the, the roaring kitty, which was amazing. This is the person that was behind all the GameStop craze and beautiful moment of history. And every time he was showing his portfolio and that he was not selling, he did not sell. But what people remember with good or bad intention doesn't matter is that he always show a wallet. So that's what they do now. They always show you this wallet. I'm not selling. I'm not selling because they bet on the laziness of the people that they are not going to check all their other wallets. And then of course, and same as I hope Roaring Kitty and we know actually that he made money all this and then he cashed out and that's normal. He should because this is what an investor should do. So you can't blame someone that talked to you about a crypto that they cashed out and still a brand went up. You could have cashed out. Maybe you were greedy. That's another problem. Now we have some truths. We have some lies. But what happened on the market is the market and it's a game like that if you don't like the game exit the game oh yeah don't i mean don't don't just be out here trusting nobody don't trust no don't just blindly trust influencers and hold to the moon bro don't blindly trust nobody bro not me not nobody come up with your own strategy come up with your own risk tolerance level like if you want to check out chuck don't sit here and wait for me to talk about it wait for me to even if you're in the patreon where i do stuff instantly like maybe I'm focused on my own cash out and exit strategy so I can't make a video in time or the internet's not working because my internet be going to shit like quite frequently, which is crazy. But um, yeah, it's like you have to look out for yourself and have your own strategy, man. Um, So yeah, like don't follow, don't just follow people. Or as base trading, say it, be the game. And for that, you need to develop better strategies. And honestly, to these days, this is for me the best strategy that is working. Because if you don't have an audience that you're going to be able to trick into thinking you're not selling, then maybe you should not play that game. But this one is accessible, reliable, and I think you can make a good money back of it. So check out this video. All right, y'all. So yeah, this was a really good video. Let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. Um, yeah, a lot of crazy madness is going on in the Brett community, man. It's a lot of stuff bringing the Brett community down right now. But be sure to check out Chuck. Be sure to check out Chuck. And it's not just something that I'm shilling um, because I'm a holder, which I am a holder. But if you look at the supply and who's holding what and stuff like that, you can actually go through this and you'll realize that all the top holders hold less than 12% of the total supply. So it's impossible for any one person to just dump on you. Like, it would literally have to be an entire group of people all selling at the exact same time, which there's not even enough liquidity to do that. Like, it's not enough liquidity to do that. Like, what would the splits be? How, how could that be? Like, like, even within that group, 
it would cause confrontation and, and friction. It's like, basically, I'm not saying it's impossible to get dumped on and anything. Anything can be possible, but it just doesn't make sense in the sense of Chuck if you actually take the time to do the research. So definitely look into it, man. You can see why it's blowing up, why it's been trending number one. The fundamentals is amazing. The charts look amazing. Everything is amazing. Like, go ahead and check it out. Um, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, fam.